So let's go over what's referred to as rough cutting the blue foam. A rough cut is just a cut to take a large piece of blue foam and cut it into a more manageable, workable size. You don't really care about the finish of the cut, you're just trying to make a bigger piece smaller so that you can work with it. One tool that a workshop may have for doing this is called a bandsaw. <clears throat> so bandsaws are great for cutting blue foam, but they can be a little bit messy. They create a lot of foam dust when you run the foam through the blade. You'll have to be safety trained at your workshop in order to use a tool like this. So we're not going to go over it in this video. <clears throat> One tool we have over here for doing rough cutting is a hacksaw. Um, so this tool is pretty good at cutting through the foam, but it's also particularly messy, creating a lot of uh, dust when you cut the foam. So you can see on this hacksaw, the blade actually has teeth that point in one direction. So the teeth on this hacksaw point towards the front of the saw. So that means that when you're pushing the saw, you're going to be doing more cutting than when you're pulling it. Just something to keep in mind. So you can see over here that the workpiece is fixed to the table with a clamp. You always want to fix your workpiece when you're using a hacksaw. That way the piece doesn't move around while you're uh, doing your cutting. <clears throat> There's also a small piece of sheet metal in between the foam and the clamp and that's just to make sure the clamp doesn't damage the blue foam. It kind of just distributes the clamping force along a bigger surface area. So when you're ready to go ahead and uh, use the hacksaw, you can just place it onto the foam and then you can gently move the saw back and forth making sure your hands, fingers are all out of the way and then in no time you'll have made a cut. Kind of a dusty cut but a cut nonetheless. <clears throat> Another thing you can do is actually use a utility knife to make a rough cut. So let's go ahead and get this clamp out of the way. I'll just move that back here. And so what you can do with a utility knife making sure your fingers are out of the way is just make a score into the surface of the blue foam. And then what you can do is just go ahead and make a snap. So that's one way to make uh, a rough cut in a thinner piece of blue foam. <clears throat> so those are a few ways of rough cutting blue foam. And that's just for taking a larger piece of blue foam and making it into a smaller, more workable size. <clears throat>